that's your draw for your, your reaction to the result, please. זה לא נעים לקבל שער בדקה וחצי לפני תום המשחק, למרות שבמחצית השנייה אנחנו לא סיבקנו משחק מיטות במשל המטה. רוב הזמן הכדורים היו אצל שחקני השמו. הביאו את הכדורים ואנחנו בעיקר לא החזקנו בכדור מספיק כפי שעשינו את הדברים במחצית הראשונה. second half we didn't play so good um, and, uh, and general players were holding the ball uh, most of the time. Uh, we didn't uh, make these things right uh, like uh, we started to do in the first uh, half. Were Shaman Rovers better than you expected? No. <laughs> the difference, the difference is the, the season. Mm. We are off season. Do you feel they were a lot better than you? Yes. Will, will the heat and humidity in Tel Aviv next week be a factor? I think so. הרבה יותר נעים לשחק במזג אוויר כפי שיש כאן בדאבלי. אנחנו בארץ מצפים שירד אצלנו גשם כזה ושהמעיינות המים שלנו יתמלאו. שלכם אין מחסור בזה, לנו יש. אבל חום הוא חום כבד. הלכות, הלכות גבוהה מאוד, ובטוח שתהיה לזה השפעה במשחק, גם שחקני שירות. We prefer to play football in this kind of weather that like you have in the rain and the cold weather, but unfortunately we don't have it. And um, I think it's going to be uh, much uh, easier for us if we are used to it. The players who were injured, are they all right? And have the other players to come in? אחד יש לו פגיעה בגרם, שאנחנו לא יודעים כרגע בדיוק את התוצאה, ואחד הוא השני, הוא קיבל מקום כאן מהקנסות, כאילו זה לא רוצים. הפגיעה בברך היא יותר משמעותית, וצריך לבדוק את העניין על מנת לראות מה הנזק שנגרם. One of the players was injured in the leg, and uh, this is an uh, injury that we are we need to uh, examine. We don't know what is going to be the result of that. The other one is uh, injured light, so we think it's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. Before the game, would you have been happy with a one-one draw? מבחינת תוצאה, התוצאה היא טובה. לשחק בחוץ, בתנאים, בתנאי משחק שאנחנו לא מורגלים אליהם, היא בהחלט תוצאה טובה, ואנחנו מביאים את ההכרעה אלינו הביתה. Uh, 
this kind of weather that we are not used to it and uh, our fitness that we are off season. It's a good result. Um, and hopefully we are going to finish uh, this uh, level of detail really good. What, what kind of atmosphere can Shamrock Rovers expect at your home ground and how big a support does your club get? Israel is a great friend of the Israel is a very welcome <laughs> Israel is a very welcome for uh, tourists and uh, this kinds of uh, match and um, we're going to get them a, a very nice welcome Tel Aviv is a very nice city they are going to enjoy it and um, we are going to be very nice till we go to the beach. And then we we'll do what we need to do. Okay. I think uh, the question really was how many supporters will be at the match? How many thousands of supporters will be at the match? Will there be a large crowd? <coughs> is, is the game, is the game well supported in Israel it's, uh, by the fans? I think it's going to be like here, plus minutes. It's, 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 it's because we are off season and we are not in the league. A lot of people are going away on vacation. This is summertime, people are on vacation. All the children are on vacation from school, so all the families are going away. Uh, we believe that going to be 3,000, 4,000, something. Is there a uh, Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, we, we stuck to the task really um, in the second half. We lost the goal at a bad time in the game, to be fair. Um, I thought we started the game well. Um, we, we maybe didn't play as high up the pitch as what we would have liked and what we had sort of focused on. Uh, we sort of dropped off the game a wee bit after 10 minutes. It was a poor goal for us to lose. Um, a goal from a I think <coughs> certainly what we learn from in, in relation to like how quickly you know after the ball changing hands that, you know they had got through us and, and it was in the back of our net that was a uh, European goal to be honest um, but I thought we reacted very well to that we should have been level before half time and uh, but but we kept going right to the end and uh, I thought the you know the equaliser was the least we deserved and uh, you know very very credible performances from a, a lot of the lads out there. Could Alan have been off his line and shaved quicker? I haven't seen the goal, like, to be honest, to, to be able to comment on where the mistakes been made or, you know, whether there's a combination of mistakes. Uh, I, I think that, you know, um, we need to look at that before we, we uh, you know, look at it make, make sure that it doesn't happen again. But, you know, it, it's, it's not an eye for combinations or anything like that there, you know, I thought to a man. Um, the 11 started and the two came on were excellent. The red goal was giving you hope. Yeah, I don't, I, to be honest, I, I feel if we'd have lost the tie 1 0, we would have still had that. You know, as things stand at the minute, we have to go and score. Um, so uh, I think tonight um, we certainly were more than capable of scoring. Uh, we were, I think, a big threat to set pieces, um, which we knew we would be, having seen that the first leg. Um, I think at times the, the conditions maybe didn't help us in that respect in terms of the delivery. G James's delivery is normally, um, you know, 100% in terms of its quality and its accuracy. Tonight he maybe just wasn't as um, as accurate with, with that, that side of things. And we will get opportunities in the second leg from set pieces again. There's, there's no doubt about that. And uh, I think that they, they will be wary of that. But equally, you know, um, I thought the front two, front two we, you know, on another night would have scored. He had, a good, he had a good performance. Um, the tie wouldn't have been dead at 1 0, but it, it certainly uh, there's a lot of life left in it at 1 0. Paddy Kavanagh had a very uh, influential role in the game. Yeah, Paddy. Paddy looks scared in the window. 
uh, Pat Paddy's, you know, um, he's getting that wee bit of consistency in his game, which is coming from playing on a regular basis and, and staying clear of injury, which obviously we, we hope uh, uh, continues. He, he has, Paddy's been great for us in respect, but he's excellent in getting the ball back for you as well as what he does when he's in possession of the ball. And um, you know, they, they definitely look as if they struggled with him when he was running at them coming inside. You know, the, the right back was booked and possibly um, you know was in a bit of a tightrope after that. Um, so no, I mean, he, he did well. Billy, Billy gave us uh, legs and energy on the other side when he came on as well and looked to stretch them. And then obviously Robert Billy's contribution uh, you know, speaks for itself. Well, having made the trip yourself, and you know what your arrangements are. Are the worries of logistics? You spoke about it. Was it concerned that the travelling would be much time? Um, I, no, we're not. I think you know credit to the the, the chairman and, and and Noel and the people behind the club because we've we've put together a schedule. You know, we're going out on a Monday, which uh, gives us probably an extra day. Um, we. Um, We'll have the opportunity to acclimatise some more between on the Tuesday and the Wednesday. Um, I believe the kickoff is going to be at uh, eight thirty. I think has been mentioned. So that again which should should help us slightly. Um, and uh, you know we we'll be ready. You know we ideally you know the the kickoff time at eight o'clock on the Sunday isn't ideal, but we we'll deal with that. And you know we have we have bodies that we can rotate. Looking at Sunday and, and looking at obviously next Thursday as well, but uh, no, I think that logistically we, we deal with that. Um, it's, it's been a steep learning curve for the club as a whole, and, and something which is going to be hopefully invaluable to us in the future because obviously we want these type of experiences on a regular basis. Do you feel um, we're at half time in the, the course of the two games that it's there for you to win? Oh, de definitely, yeah. I, I, I mean. It'll be a different game out there, you know, they scored and I think they, you know, seeing how they set up and seeing how they play, you know, I think they would have been happy to go home 0-0. They're obviously going to be happier going uh, uh, home 1-1 one -one with the away goal, but um, they sat behind the game, they, you know, they went basically to a 4-5-1 four, four, quite early in the second half. Now, it'll be interesting to see uh, how they play in the second leg because at this minute in time, if the score remains as, as they're through, um, will they push more men forward? Will they open up slightly? And if they do, what opportunities that may give us as well? Um, so I think you know it, it's a difficult one. One's not an easy uh, scoreline for them. They approach the tie either, and uh, you know I always felt that we wouldn't be able to win the tie here outright. So we always felt we would have to score in Tel Aviv, and uh, I think we're capable of doing that. Having seen the game between uh, their first round leg. It was very. Uh, they had a very quite a few nervy moments in the last ten one, uh, minutes with the Armenian team, and could quite easily have lost a goal, which would have put them out of the tournament. So um, we're going to play in a lovely stadium, great pitch. They're not. It'll not be an intimidating atmosphere. There was a poor crowd at the game when I attended. I would imagine it'll be something similar uh, when we go there. So uh, it, it's we've ever in the game. Having seen them last week, did they play today as as you expected, or did they surprise you in any way? Or no, they played basically uh, as we expected. There was a couple of um, changes from the team that I saw. Um, like that, uh, I'm not making an attempt to pronounce it. <coughs> the Armenian lad uh, didn't play in either of the ties in the first leg. It gave them a bit more physical presence up front than what they had in, in uh, the game that I saw last week. So, um, no, they didn't, they didn't surprise. The two midfield players are good players. They can handle the ball. Um, but we knew that if we could maybe make the game a wee bit more of a British style game uh, uh, or an Irish style game that we could certainly uh, you know, get, get playing higher up the pitch and that's what we did. I thought Chris and Racer and Robert when he came on um, you know, got on top of them a bit more and, and we were sort of breaking play up higher up the pitch and, and, and consequently able to get at them a little bit better from that. It was, it was cool and damp this evening. It's going to be hot and humid over there. You won't be able to play probably a pressing game as far as the park as you were tonight. So how would you approach it? That well, it would have to be, you know, hundred percent right. You know, it will, it will be. Uh, I'm not so sure, temperature wise. I think humidity will be probably our biggest problem out there. It's a, a dry kind of heat as well. Um, I think that uh, we'll have to. The, the pace of the game will be slower. Um, there's no doubt about that. 
we have to be very, very disciplined in relation to when we don't have the ball. But, but we will have to, you know, force the game at times, and, and uh, the onus is on the on the players to do that. We look like at how we how we start the game in terms of our shape. You know, we played four four two for the ninety minutes tonight. That's something we look at in relation to uh, when we approach the game. And I thought tonight we were positive. You know, the substitutions were positive. You know, putting Chambers to right back is a, is a positive substitution because it it gives you a, 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 an outlet on that right hand side. And, we may not start that way out there, but uh, we always have the option to, to progress to that if need be when we're chasing the game. And you know, as long as the game stays nil nil, it's a very nervous situation for for them. And uh, we, we just have to ensure that we stay in the tie as long as possible. And uh, you know, we can force the game maybe in the last 15, 20 minutes. Do you be happy with one all the minutes to go? If it's one all 20 minutes to go, we're, we're more than in the tie. Yeah. We might saw last week. They might get a bit jiggy. Well, what we saw certainly, and I think what we saw tonight when the ball in the box, it only takes one good delivery and, and someone to get on the end of it, you know. I think we saw at times the goalkeeper come off for things, didn't look overly convincing. And despite their technical side of the game and their ability to handle the ball, what I did feel about them was that they didn't have particularly great headers of the ball uh, across the back four or, or throughout the team. And uh, that's something that you know we may be able to capitalise on in the second leg. Did you feel you could have got a couple of penalties today? Were they handballs or not? Or? I don't know really, to be honest. Yeah, I'd love to say yeah, but um, no. The, the the one in the first half hits the arm, the the, the lad's arm. There's no doubt it would have been a pretty freakish penalty again. I think it went out for a corner. Um, I, I can couldn't comment on the second one. I, I think you know the the thing that we we could most improve on is that like. You know, there were some great, you know, balls in the box, and we maybe just didn't attack the ball as well as what we can do. You know, and that's you know the game's on a knife phase then. It only takes someone to attack the the, the the ball in the right area at the right time. We see at the end there a great ball into James Chambers off a free kick. And Craig Savas, we were expecting to attack the ball. but he kind of turned his back on it, and all it needed was contact off when it was in the net. The goalkeeper was far from convincing on that. So, you know, we look at the we look at the video of the game and. Uh, the players will be, uh, they'll know where they can uh, exploit the opposition. You're saying that the Galway match is a match that soon will not happen in the circumstances? I never said that. Well, the timing is wrong. Well, I said that uh, ideally we wouldn't want to kick off at five past eight. But uh, as I said, and I said earlier in the week, that I wouldn't want the league schedule interrupted. Um, I know there's certain managers that would, but I would rather play the game in Galway than have to play it. Uh, later in the season, so it's not, it's not an issue for us. Would the trade not be more of a deal? Well, yeah, of course it would be, but at the end of the day, we, we'll, we'll deal with it, the kick off time at five past eight. We're not moaning and groaning about that. The, the game's on television, we should be glad that there's coverage in the league. And, uh, you know, no, listen, we, we, could be, we could be playing Galway on Friday night, and it would mean that we had, didn't have the game tonight, so, and, and we would rather be involved in European football. Have the you know the, the slight inconveniences that come with that, and, and uh, you know we we have no problem dealing with that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it would be hard to come away with nothing from it because you know it's probably how many chances now. Yeah, well, it's a trouble start. We have every chance I'm going out there now. I thought that was unbelievable. The chance is great, but a force that for the only game on the score. Yeah. When you came on yourself, did you feel that there was a game that there was going to be more goals in rather than just seeing the seven? Yeah, I thought there was one there for us. I was coming on, they never was pushing us, and it was you bat them. Always a lot of length, 100% of the end. I thought there was a goal there for us all day, you know. When you're on the bench like that, do you kind of picture yourself coming on and scoring a dramatic goal like that? No, oh, you can't concentrate with Brian Barrett on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Uh, I leave that one to the others. How do you feel that it's the whole thing poised now in terms of second leg and all? I think we've every chance going out there now. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they'll go out there and they'll think they have their way to go and try to shut up shop. We can get at them again. They won't play either thing anymore tonight. What did you make of them? Yeah, 
Mr. Cooper, what do you think he needs to make him? What do you think he probably needs to do? Every single time. 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 Every have you, uh, have you ever played in Israel before you've played no. good to you underage internationals? No, never already, no. It's a bit forced on it. What would be the biggest underage game you would have played in, in terms of foreign countries? Or? Uh, Japan, probably. It was a decent play at the time, there. So what, Ireland or uh, Leeds? No, Ireland. Do you hope to start on Sunday so you can get in and start on the for next week? Yeah, well, I think it's 20 last year I hope to start, isn't it? It's up to the manager, huh? Right? He did, he did indicate that the, the four four division might not be able to, he might not necessarily go with that next week. If he does next to the fielder, he does have the door to accept it. Yeah, we'll have to see you next week, won't we? Mm. So if you face next week of patience, maybe holding midfield, trying to hold midfield, maybe midfield happen. Uh, yeah. not rush to try and I think we look at the video and have a look, see where we can get them better and try to manage them like the starters there. Has Michael spoken to you about the heat over there or in your underage career at international level have you played in any really, really hot countries or do you know what it's like to play in that? Yeah, I know it's like we played in a couple of tournaments, yeah, so the game is halfway and we just make it a lot better, so it should be okay. Alright. I've just confirmed nothing because I must be asked before, but are there relationships to Martin and Richie? Yeah, they're my cousins. Cousins? Yeah. See, Rico at the end of the world. Well, he's not. 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 Look a bit more to come. Mm -hmm. Scored this cup semi final last year. Didn't <coughs> this goal topped that? Yeah. Is that because it's sorry? Is that because it's European competition? Yeah. Well, because well, it's Rovers. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>